Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This video will cover 15 questions that I'm actually covering and this is the fifth part of this series, the CSE, the Canadian Security Course. And if you don't know about this course, this course is very important. It's basically a certification if you want to get into the financial industry in Canada. So this is the fundamental, this is the basic course that you have to have. This is the basic certification that you have to have. So here you go, I'm going to post another 15 questions. These questions are not available in the market and the answers you cannot easily get on Google. So stick with this video, listen to this, and it will definitely help you in the examination. Question number one, what is a basic assumption of the market segmentation theory? The answer is supply and demand of bonds are primarily influenced by larger market participants. This answer is available in fixed income, chapter number seven, securities, pricing and trading. Question number two, Alisa is deciding between four different five year bonds with different annual coupons, a 3.75% bond, 3.85% bond, 3.95% bond, 4% bond. She anticipates that interest rates are dropping sharply in the next six months. At the end of six months, she intends to sell the bonds, assuming the bonds are similar other than their coupons. Which bond should she buy? The correct answer is 3.75%. And you can read the detailed answer here. This answer is also available in chapter seven, fixed income securities, pricing and trading. Question number three. Marco owns a 6% bond maturing in 7 years and a 7% bond maturing in 8 years. The duration on 6-year bond is 6.5 while the duration on 7-year bond is 6. Which bond will react more to a change in interest rates? So the correct answer is 6% bond as it has higher duration. Question number 4. Johan purchased a five-year 5.25% annual province of Quebec bond that pays interest annually. Current market rates are 6%. What is the price Johan should pay for the bond? The correct answer is $96.84. The details are here. This answer is also available in the chapter number seven, fixed income and securities pricing and trading. Question number five. When would an investor buying Government of Canada Treasury bills need to have funds in their account for settlement? The correct answer is same day the transaction takes place. Question number six. How are reinvested dividends treated for income tax purposes? The correct answer is as an ordinary cash dividend. Question number seven. The issuer of the preferred shares does not call the share and keeps moving the repayment date into the future. What type of risk are the shareholders experiencing? The correct answer is extension risk. This answer is available in chapter number eight, equity, securities, common and preferred shares. Question number eight, how would an investment finance publication Describe the Standard and Poor's S&P Composite Index. The correct answer is a capitalization weighted index with larger capitalization stocks having more effective on the index value. Question number nine. What is a benefit of owning preferred shares instead of common shares? The correct answer is preference of dividend payments. Question number 10. How are stock dividends paid to Canadian resident taxpayers treated for tax purposes? The correct answer is as cash dividends. Question number 11. Lucy's preferred shareholdings in ABC Corporation drop sharply in value when ABC reports a large net loss of fiscal period. What type of risk Lucy experienced? The correct answer is credit risk. This answer is also available in equity, securities, common and preferred shares. 
Question number 12. What type of preferred share does not have a stated maturity date but does give the issuer the right to call the shares on established future dates? The correct answer is perpetual. Question number 13. Kurt's preferred shares are retracted with only cash as a redemption option. What type of future does the preferred shares have? The correct answer is hard retraction. Question number 14. Who typically buy preferred shares? The correct answer is income oriented investors seeking the dividend tax credit. Question number 15. QWE's in share price has increased from $35 per share to $175 per share and has experienced a significant drop in trading volume. Management is concerned the low liquidity may reflect badly on the company. Which option should management undertake to increase the daily trading activity? The correct answer is stock split. So there you go guys, 15 questions are covered again. This is the fifth video. Make sure to smash that like button so that you can get another notification or subscribe to the channel and you know press the bell icon so that you can always get the notification because basically it will help the algorithm to push the video to the to someone who's actually looking for these answers and who is looking for these questions so it will be very helpful for them and you can also share this video with them whoever is actually trying to get into a financial field in Canada so take good care of yourself and thank you for watching this video bye